today's episode, I'm going to be building an intercooler for the front of the 40, so come check it out. Alright, so the core that I'm starting with is about 3 inches thick. It's a bar and plate design, and it's rated for about 900 horsepower which is plenty more than I'm ever going to need. I'm going to start by building one of the end tanks to the intercooler and like always I start by creating a template out of poster board which I'm going to transfer to a piece of 6061 aluminum and for this I'm going to need two of those. Okay, each end of the intercooler is going to consist of multiple pieces, and once I get them all cut out, I'll weld them together to create the end. These pieces need to have a slight bend to them, so for that I head over to the vise. This is how the intercooler is going to connect to the pipes. This is just a piece of 3 inch aluminum with a bead rolled in it, and I'm just going to need about a 2 inch piece. Alright, to mock this up, I'm just using a scrap piece of aluminum that I had laying around that I'm going to clamp these pieces to as a jig so I can weld it all up. Okay, here's what the first end tank's going to look like. You just need to test fit it, make sure it fits on the end of the core, and then it's ready to clamp into place and I can weld it on.
Okay, here's the first end tank welded to the intercooler core. This is going to make up the bottom half of the intercooler. It looks like it should hold pretty good, and I'm happy with that. All right, now I just need a way to mount this intercooler, and since the lower bracket is gonna support 90% of the weight of the intercooler, I'm making it out of some eight inch plate, and it's gonna get welded to the front of the truck. Okay, now I just need to make the corresponding mount for the intercooler, and for that I'm using a piece of 4x4 aluminum that I had left over from another project because it'll look clean and it's nice and strong. Alright, time for a test fit. In the last video when I was putting the radiator in, I had mentioned that this was like putting 10 pounds of stuff in a 5 pound bag. And you can see that the intercooler just barely fits behind the grill in front of the radiator. Okay, now that that's in place, it's time to build the top portion of the intercooler. And for that, I'm making it similar to the bottom portion, only the piping is going to be offset to the driver's side just a little bit. Thank you. 
Alright, there's all the pieces for the top portion of the intercooler. Now it's time to tack them into place. Okay, here it is all tacked together. You can see the joints are all nice and tight, which is key when welding aluminum. There's the top portion all welded up together. Now all I need to do is give it a quick test fit. Then it's time to pull the intercooler back out of the truck so I can weld this to the core. Alright, here's the almost completed intercooler. It looks like it should funnel the air in and out pretty well. And now there's only one thing left to do, and that's build the upper mounting bracket for the intercooler. This bracket's going to sit in the front of the grill shell and it's going to be held in place by a couple of plug welds. Okay, here's the completed project, a giant front mount intercooler that just barely fits behind the grill of this truck. I think it turned out pretty sweet. All right, that's gonna be it for this one. I decided to build an intercooler because I looked everywhere and I couldn't find one that would fit in the front of the grill as well as meet the pressure needs that this engine is going to produce. And also building the intercooler was something that I've never done before and it gave me the opportunity to try something new. Uh, in the next few episodes I'm going to be building all the intercooler piping and an intake horn so look for that and I guess that's going to be it for this one so I'll see you next time.